costs a ton of money for the kids to come here, and they're coming here, first of all, I believe 99% of the people, kids are coming here, or their parents are sending them here to relate to you all as, uh, as a mentor. Right behind that, moms and dads are sending their kids here to have a ton of fun, to have a blast. So we're going to make sure that we show them that. It's the key to everything we do, whether it's athletics or whether it's um, quiet times or whether it's cabin cleanup or whether it's serving at the table at a meal. If you start encouraging, it'll be amazing how <coughs> performance shoots for maybe only 40 minutes. You got to be prepared and ready to go the second they get there. We don't want to waste time. And uh, particularly if it's a K work activity or maybe something like skiing, where they might only get to that activity one time, and what is accomplished in that activity is um, experience is the best teacher. We want everybody to be involved. And we, do, we hit this twice. We don't have a bunch of benches around here. We're not into the bench thing. We're into the participation thing. Which is better? I'm giving a half night off to answer this question right. Participation. You all get a half night off. Yeah! Would you rather have a team of 15 on the football field, one game, 15 on a team, or two games with eight and seven? No! We want two games because eight and seven means a game of eight and a game of seven means Eight people are going to be participating much better than 15. Seven are going to be participating much better than 15. More people will be. So whoever answered 15, you don't get a night off. Cooper, was it you? You have to work. Okay. We want smaller groups for more participation. If you've got an individual that is a little bit intimidated, we're not going to yell and scream at him, but we're going to encourage him to get in the game. Encourage them to participate. Smaller games are better than huge games. We're going to teach in a very hands-on way. Um, one of my pet peeves, I'll just tell you, is um, teaching from afar. Uh, if you're sitting down and trying to instruct archery, uh, that won't be good. We want you to be right there with the kids, on the kids, showing the kids and helping the kids. Hands on, hands on. I'm going to get around beside the kid and help him figure out how to pull the bow back.